Friends, this is Monday of Holy Week. On this day, our Lord returned from Bethany to Jerusalem, and on his way, he cursed the barren fig tree. And on this day, he also drove the merchants and money changers from the court of the temple, and he declared that his father's house would be a house of prayer for all people. Hear now the account of this from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verses 12 through 26. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, Jesus was hungry. And seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see if he could find anything on it. But when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. And he said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. And they came to Jerusalem. And he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold and those who bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he was teaching them and saying to them, Is it not written, My house should be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it into a den of robbers. And the chief priests and scribes heard it and were seeking a way to destroy him, for they feared him, because all the crowd was astonished at his teaching. And when evening came, they went out of the city. As they passed by in the morning, they saw the fig tree withered away to its roots. And Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. And Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father, also who is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we ask with all our hearts for you to look with compassion upon us. We thank you for Jesus Christ, who was willing to fully give himself up for us into the hands of those who wished to betray him, and who would ultimately send him to agony and death upon the cross. Loving God, as we continue to move with Jesus through this holiest of weeks, we pray that you will use this time to deepen our faith and our sense of gratitude for all that you have done for us. Loving God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, did on this day curse the barren fig tree, deliver us, we pray, from all unfruitfulness, and please give us the grace to bring forth abundantly the fruits of righteousness, of love, and joyful obedience. And as Jesus on this day cleansed the courts of the temple, we pray that you will also cleanse our hearts and our minds of everything, seeking to keep us away from you, Lord Jesus. We pray these things in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.